the Looney Farm Guy here, and this is American Silos Pack by TK Farms for Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 for this test on here on a Rock Crawl, and this is actually a pack of 16 silos or factories uh, that produce four different products and uh, let's have a look at it here 3.11 megabytes to download uh, you'll find them under productions and factories and uh, we have four in each category here we have a uh, grass drying we have fermenting or uh, making of silage we have um, pig food manufacturing and then TMR notice there's two different styles and there's four different sizes they range from the smallest which is this one the grass drying stave silo small at fifty thousand dollars and a two hundred and fifty thousand liter capacity it moves up to the grass drying steel small small the blue small silo and that one um, comes in at 400,000 liters and then move over to the um, large silo at $100,000 and 400 or 500,000 liters and finally the largest of them at 750,000 liter capacity now that's true for all four types uh, I have four of the largest ones here for this test but the recipes are all slightly different uh, the cycles per month is uh, the smaller ones there's less cycles per month and it goes up so it starts at 6,000 cycles per month for the smallest um, and then goes up to um, 96 120 and then 14 uh, 14 thousand or 144,000 and that's just the grass drying that the recipes are different so I'm again I'm going to look at the largest of the four for this test I have fill, I have them filled so we're going to look at them one at a time and then we're going to run them and see uh, what their uh, production is so four to six slots each on console so this is kind of really nice uh, if we take a look at them here we go the production chain so I have a grass drying steel silo large its capacity is 750,000 liters just like the others cycles per month is 144,000 60 dollars per month the maintenance uh, daily cost goes from 10 dollars for the smallest uh, to 25 30 and 50 dollars uh, so just give you an idea there so one to one is what we got here for grass to hay input is here just on the ground uh, we will show uh, one of them going in a little bit later to show you output is here we're going to test the output speed later once we have produced the next one here does I have there we go fermenting so this is silage as you can see I have straw in there yes we have chaff grass hay or straw these will all be converted into silage straw being the significant one for me at least or for many of you because it's a byproduct of the harvest harvesting wheat oats barley and um, it's very nice that you can use that and of course chaff silage and hay are the other three the the recipes are all the same cycles per month are 144,000 as well same as the hay production so we're going to see what we end up with there I have a pretty good idea as you might imagine next one down is pig food pig food uh, is a little bit different 48 cycles a month but instead of one to one we have a thousand going in a thousand coming out so that's nice there's no wastage capacities are 750,000 liters of each product so as you can imagine looking at the recipe some will go down faster than others and um, well 48,000 liters per month I am going to guess what the output is <laughs> uh, so and finally the last one 
is a TMR production. And again, quite easy to figure out what uh, the output's going to be. 108 cycles per month, a uh, thousand going in for eight, yeah, a thousand going in, a thousand coming out of TMR. So 108,000 liters per month is my guess, educated guess, uh, looking at the recipe and the cycles per month. Uh, so we're going to see that. And yes, it does take bales. So bales are accepted. Silage bales, straw bales, hay bales, any kind of bales. So bales are accepted. We'll show you that. They go in the same place as everything else. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run it forward. And then we're going to see what we end up with. And of course, uh, show you the bales going in. I have some, uh, I have some hay bales here as well. And we're going to check the output speed and see how fast you can get the stuff out, too, because that's always important. So we'll see you in a moment. Alrighty then, so we have gone, uh, gone one month ahead in time through the magic of the game. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look here. Hey, yes, so as predicted, 140, nearly 144,000 liters just a little bit shy it'll be it'll hit that in a few seconds um so that's not surprising so plenty of capacity uh production is well it is what it is uh same with the uh hate or straw to silage um so there we have so now of course if you have chaff grass and hay and straw all in there uh you're going to quadruple this output right here so um, so you can have them all active at the same time. I just put one in to show you that. So um, having them all filled at once and running, you can imagine four times that uh, you're, you're bumping up to 600,000 liters or so. So not too bad there. Pig food, as you can tell here, uh, pig food production is quite a bit uh, slower. Uh, we have 48,000 liters here, and uh, yeah, so just be aware that if you fill them up, fill this one up, your pig, f it's going to last a long time. <laughs> uh, same with your TMR, uh, you see that uh, they, um, yeah, capacity, uh, capacity far exceeds the production, so you're not going to run out anytime soon, and by looking at the capacity here, uh, I'm going to say the uh, outgoing capacity is 750,000 liters as well, or thereabouts. Right, so, inputs, straw, as you can see here, straw bales, no problem, going in. Uh, we're going to empty out the rest of this straw in here. And uh, so, show you there, so that's right there let's get into uh this little fella here and hook up a smaller tray when i say smaller it's going to be 150,000 liter capacity and uh, let's see which one has the most here okay the the hay or the silage we'll test out the silage one here uh, see how fast it unloads there we go and uh, very nice as you can see here you can also take out the straw uh, so it's kind of like a silo as well as a production let's go with silage here and see how fast it unloads not terribly bad it's not terribly quick either but it's about as fast as some of the buy uh, the, the buy anything silos so uh, not dreadfully slow but you're probably going to sit here well obviously like you see here you're going to sit here for a little while waiting for it to unload let's see if we can put it back in and we can so look at that so that is one of my pet peeves is uh, factories that don't let you put stuff in or out or take product in or out but these of course as you've seen allow to take product out that you have put in there so here we go we have wheat 
corn, sugar beets, canola, pig foods. So say you put too much uh, corn in there, you want some of it out, uh, you can take some of it out. So it goes in and out. Um, <clears throat> very nice. Uh, this is a really nice package of uh, silos. You get all the um, you got you get all the different you get the TMR you get the silage you get this the hay and you get the pig food all in one pack it's only 3.1 megabytes to download so the megabytes is low six slots and four slots each for each silo production speed is um, is adequate uh, you get several sizes to pick from and you can use it as a silo you just have to turn off the production and you can use it as a silo holding 750,000 liters of each product that it holds very nice and of course being a factory you can set it to distribute so your hay production you can set that to distribute uh, to your TMR uh, which is very nice same with the silage you can have it sent so here we go silage you can have it distributing and it will send it automatically to to, to your tmr production so very nice very handy nice nice compact design yeah, everything about it is pretty nice it's not overly um unrealistic so it's not uh ridiculously fast or anything like that um just a really nice uh, set that's americans silos pack by tk farms for farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching i'm Looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now